Startup Autobahn. Hello everybody and welcome to Startup Autobahn. Today's event is all about our 20 plus startups that are pitching right now. Please welcome your host here on stage, the chairman of the board of Daimler AG, Dr. Dieter Zetsche. Uh, Stuttgart is the perfect match, bringing together OEMs in the car industry, uh, suppliers and universities and schools. You know, it all started around 2012, actually, when we started working with Mercedes-Benz R&D North America. And, you know, their purpose here in Silicon Valley is really to work on various projects and, and interact with the Silicon Valley community. We weren't at all replacing what they were doing, but we were really augmenting their activities, giving them exposure to the startups that we were seeing, not only in Silicon Valley, but those that we were importing from Europe, Asia, etc. But they were having some challenges where they would travel to Berlin or to Silicon Valley and they would meet these amazing startups. The problem was they couldn't get their engineers to engage those startups at home in Stuttgart. In companies, most of the business units, most of the people are just focused on the next quarter and they really fail to think about the bigger picture, the horizon. You can have a CEO that's talking about innovation in a very fluffy, high-level manner. You can have scouts all over the world who are really excited about these startups, but what we've learned is that deals die in the middle. It's really crucial that we have the business units deeply involved in this whole process. And so they commissioned us to come to Stuttgart and create Startup Autobahn. Never stop challenging. I think that's a good motto for a day like this with Startup Autobahn. So what do we want to do? We want to bundle strengths to reach out and hopefully gain access to the best technologies around the world that we will put into our products and services. This is a wonderful platform for all creative talents from Germany, Europe and from all around the world. We had a fantastic launch. We had 20 startups pitching. We chose 13 of them to go through the first cohort. It's a three-month cohort where we connect startups with corporations, with investors, with thought leaders, with pitch polishing. The way we measure success is can we help the startups raise money if they're looking for it? Can we help them secure pilots? And it was incredible. We chose 13 startups. At the time, Daimler was our only partner. And out of those 13 startups, Daimler did 15 pilots. We worked with, I think, six or seven different business units. I've never seen this sort of interaction between the corporates and the startups before. My name is Ronny Dumian. I'm working for Smart, Vehicle Concept and Innovations. My name is Dieter Feder and I work for Business Innovation at Daimler AG. We came across Gaussi just before the start of the Startup Autobahn program and we took the chance to set up a common project with them. We had a crazy idea in my department. Um, we looked at, okay, what do we need to get this idea to the next level? And the project was about taking the Gaussi technology and making something more out of it, which could potentially be a use case uh, for our vehicles. The collaboration with Gaussi uh, was beneficial to this extent that it's very, very fast, not only prototyping, but getting already a certain level of technology to the next level, and also providing a little bit of a, a space for, let's call it, a positive coincidence. Well, working with startups is uh, certainly extremely agile and uh, dynamic. And what's great about them is that they are focused and uh, very dedicated towards projects and towards their technology. Sometimes it's just the plausible solution and the speed that helps bringing a large company and a smaller company or startup together. The conclusion up to now is that it seems to be a promising technology and can really be a customer use case inside our vehicles. A good experience and um, we are actually in the moment of trying to get all the parts through customs and getting them assembled. Going into the second cohort, we decided to have three tracks. 
We wanted to keep the pilot track. We still wanted some of the startups to have a very clear value proposition so that we could have some quick wins and really engage the business units internally. But we also wanted to engage the university community. And so we had another track that we called the university or the pre-seed stage track. And these startups are, are more traditionally what you'd expect in an incubator or accelerator. But the problem is they don't have a very clear value proposition. But it, it was really nice to have them included and to build those relationships with the universities. Because what we find is as we engage those students in those universities, it educates the students that there's an other option besides joining Daimler or Bosch upon graduation, that they could actually start a company. The third track that we did was the investment track, and these were for startups that were in our sweet spot. So our average ticket size for investing is about $100,000, euros, etc. And so we wanted to have three tracks covering uh, a stage agnostic program, the late stage companies, the middle stage companies for our investment, and the early stage companies needs to engage the local community and universities. Startup Portobon is not like any other program. They don't just want to show you off and they don't want to just say we're working with these exciting startups. They actually want to build something. This is an opportunity to genuinely reach the decision makers. So basically my advice for a startup is do it. In the second batch, we went from one partner, Daimler, to six partners, including HPE, BASF, and it was phenomenal. We ended up choosing 28 startups that went through the program. Of those 28 startups, we had well over 50 pilots committed by the different partners. And what I loved about it was that if Daimler committed to this many pilots, Porsche had to commit to that many pilots. And there was some competitive friction between the corporate partners. And, and frankly, they really learned a lot from each other in this whole process. And, and anything we can do to smooth the ability for corporations to engage startups and, and speed up that sales cycle, the better. We started with four partners and now we have an open platform uh, which has eight partners all together and I think it's a very good example for open innovation. At Porsche we really love competition so we think the more partners we have on board the better it is for the program. So please join Startup Autobahn, we love to have you on board. An open platform means having more corporates on board which means having a more attractive program for the startups. And this is what we want, attracting the best startups worldwide to join Startup Autobahn. So that's the beauty of Startup Autobahn, that's the access to a constant stream of such innovations and this can really be integrated into our customer solutions and we are really happy being part of that. Now the whole vision for this mobility program and, and going into this third cohort is not only for startups to engage the local community in Stuttgart but to also be able to come to Beijing and spend three months engaging the Chinese automotive industry and then come to Silicon Valley and engage all the different partners that we have here. And so we're really building this global mobility network. It is unbelievable to see this crowd here. Innovation happens everywhere. And if we connect them, it will be a bigger success and a better success. Thank you.